morning and welcome to part two, another day of uh, poly tunnel construction. I've just dug the trench all the way around the uh, outside. Just took in the ground sheet back in underneath the back into the trench. Next we're going to be putting the cover up which will um, go over into the tunnel trench and we'll backfill that to hold it down. Oh, back soon. Trench is uh, dug and we've got the ground sheet in the trench and we're just going to start fighting with the cover to, uh, to put that on. The trench part at the front will be uh, dug when we know how wide the doors are on it. And whilst I was doing this, because it's a nice summer's day as you can see, Sky is clear. I uh, got our digital thermometer out and turned it on. I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. Bit of shade for you. 18.2 degrees in the sun. In mid January. Not bad, I don't think. Okay, cover is now on and fastened down to the framework with little ties. We're just going to now backfill the trench to help secure the cover down. Now, as you can see, the trench is now filled in down the side, along the back, and down the other side. Next, just an extra precaution, oh, it's not windy here too much, but I'm uh, going to peg it down inside with some homemade pegs that make a boy scout proud. Welcome back after the uh, trench filling in. Uh, next we're going to stake it down on the inside and uh, what I'm going to use for this is some uh, tent pegs I made earlier. Um, strip the bark off, a bit of a point on the end notch in the top to put some uh, fastens around it and we're going to use guy rope from old tent that fell apart with the sun and uh, what I used to uh, fashion these tent pegs with was a uh, weapon of choice um, very versatile very good grass trees excellent tool mind your shins mind so get on with it we are uh, now inside the pony tunnel. Uh, all the stakes are down and guide roped in as well, so it's uh, very, very solid. There's the peg with the loop adjustment and they're wrapped around the framework. And there's eight of them, so I don't think it's going anywhere. Plus the soil in the trench as well. Okay. Welcome back. We have now um, fully completed putting the poly tunnel up, as you can see. Uh, we've moved a few uh, bits in, a bit like a bedding table and things, rustic style of course. Um, rigged up a water butt, water tub, uh, so a hose pipe goes into the poly tunnel all the way around and I will be connecting at a later date some junctions for um, soaker hoses so that we'll get a constant water feed. To fill that up I'll run a rigid pipe down to the well down to the pump and uh, it takes water out of the well, use it for water in the garden in the summer but we'll also use it to fill the barrel up as well. Not sure how much it'll use in the day, we'll have to monitor it and um, no doubt we'll come back to you in the summer with various things growing in it. Um, we did get it for autumn and winter use and a little bit of spring so we'll probably be taking the cover back off April time when we uh, no, there's no frosts going to be. I don't think there'll be any frosts after after March time. But you never know. First year here still, so uh, we've still got to see. Um, and we'll be taking the cover off. Whatever's growing in there, let it grow up. Like tomatoes, cucumbers, chilies, peppers, uh, raised beds. Um, we're going to build some raised beds. We've got some old doors, a bit like the ones we did in the lower garden. Um, and we've got a lot of used tyres. So we'll be making some raised beds with them as well for various bits and pieces we want them to grow so uh, we'll give you an update later on in the year uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye